in this video we are going to see two problems and we are going to check the validity so both observe in both the problems that the conclusion here is r implies s and the conclusion here is b implies negation c so both the conclusions are implications so in this case when you have a conclusion as an implication you have to consider r and then you have to simplify the argument and you have to try to reach s here also in the second problem here i will consider all these things with b and i will try to simplify it and i will try to get the answer as negation c so let us start with the first problem now so p implies q second is negation p and r implies s negation q and i am going to take this r also and now i will simplify and try to see whether it comes up to be s or not so first of all i will make this particular thing i will take the contra positive of this so when i take the contra positive of the first one i am going to get negation q implies negation p others i am going to keep them as it is negation p and r implies s with a negation q and r now if i look at these two quantities this is negation q with a negation q implies negation p so i'm going to use here modus ponens and the output of modus ponens is negation p others will remain as it is negation p and r implies s with a r so now i have negation p with me now i have and i have r with them so i can take them uh, take their conjunction because it is negation p and r so i can take that so it is negation p and r which is called conjunction with negation p and r implies s and now you can see that this is again of the form of modus ponens so i can apply modus ponens here negation p and r negation p and r implies s so by modus ponens again i'm going to get it as s this is what we were expecting s so this argument is a valid argument let us go to the second now so i have a uh, a or negation b c implies negation a and i'm going to assume b and i'm trying i will go to see whether it comes up to negation c so i will write it as a or negation b with the c implies negation a and i'm going to include this b also in the assumptions so if i look at the first and the last thing i can obviously see that negation b will go off with negation b by disjunctive syllogism so i'm going to apply disjunctive syllogism to omit this b from the picture so people who will remain in the picture are a and the middle term which is c implies negation a right and when i write the contra positive of this what is the contra positive of this term it is a and the contra positive is a implies negation c and now this looks like our uh, modus ponens again so i'm going to apply uh, modus ponens and therefore i will get the thing is negation c and this is what we wanted so yes so this means that this particular argument is also a valid argument 